with around 90 minutes driving time and en route to Cancun International Airport after leaving Baya Principe Sea Can Hotel 12 miles north of Tulum on Mexico's Riviera Maya along the course of Yucatan Peninsula. Passing through picturesque Playa del Carmen, famous for its white sands, then on to the airport where check in to Terminal 2. <laughs> Cancun Airport openly showcased prohibited items from various liquids, guns, baseball bats, grenades, knives and swords. That's your flight number. Okay. That's the gate, that's your seat. Okay. Be there at that time. Much the gracias. The counter. Time for an iced coffee and charge up my laptop. Today's eight and a half hour flight back to the UK is on a two-way Airways Boeing 787-800 Dreamliner, almost nine years old, twin jet plane has 288 seats and a two-class layout. Powered by two massive General Electric Next Generation 1B79 jet engines featuring 18 composite fan blades and intakes measuring 282 centimetres across and producing 72,300 pounds of thrust on takeoff. It stays in the wing 20% longer uses 30% fewer parts to lower maintenance costs and has a contrary to the architecture. <laughs> My seat today is 38A, right at the back on the left hand side. Cabo crew just doing the final preparations as we're taxiing. Today's flight is less than a third full, which is fantastic. I've got the whole of the back row to myself, left and right hand windows of course. And we'll be departing on the left hand runway, that's 12 left, and that's the short of the two runways at Cancun, which is 9,186 feet long. Plenty of length for us to get here more. Runway 12 left, we take a left hand turn and pass the strip where all the hotels are. So we're cruising high, the ovens have failed, but that's okay. Uh, they've just done a quick technical hitch, and 15 minutes later, we're going to get some hot food. Meantime, another one of these. Had that yesterday at Tulum Rooms on the beach, and it was lovely. Yeah, an empty flight, it was the best to be on. So it looks like we've reached our cruising altitude at the moment of 39,000 feet. Uh, the meal service is just about to begin and we're cruising over Key West, which is just south of the mainland tip of Florida and north of Cuba. The pilots informed us we're flying over Billy Conley's house. Looks a glorious day outside and more drinks inside of course. I prefer sitting right at the back on the left or right hand side so you can see the contrails. Here you can see the contrails of the number one engine. And we've just flown over Miami as well. I can smell the 
food coming through the cabin at the moment. And I just make sure what it eats. It's that lovely kind of, uh, well, you know what it's like when you're waiting and you can smell that food. So uh, it's going to be good. I'm not sure what it is today, but well. Seeing outside the window just now is the gases of the number one engine contrails of uh, super hot gases condensing in the minus 56 degrees Celsius frigid air, and it looks fantastic. We're heading in an easterly direction, and the angle of the sun uh, appears to be lower and lower as we are going further east. After the night portion of the flight, which lasted a few hours, as we're heading east, the sun rises and then we touch down at Terra Firma at an ungodly quarter to 6 a.m.